Hi, good afternoon to the ladies, the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls, your host, your guy again, the one and only DLG Repping. Yes, for those of you that are new and watching for the first time, DLG stands for Dele London Guna. Otherwise, Repping is spelled Romeo Echo Papa Papa Indigo November. Yes, I'm bringing you more live and fresh um, football content. This is a football channel, um, as you already know. For those of you that um, are watching for the first time, now you know. Um, I've got some context to get through. Um, Stephen Gerald has said that there's more to come from his Rangers team. That's, form that's according to the former um, Liverpool and England captain himself. Captain Marvel, he was. Real Madrid, um, lonely. Um, Gareth Bell's psychological st scars are over, according to Jose Mourinho. I'll be reading into that. And um, later on, I'll be doing my um, usual gossip column. Yes, to find out the speculation of the transfer. Um, of, the tra of the, yeah, transfer news. So let's... Um, Start off with um, Stephen Gerrard and what he has said here, and it's written in yellow writing itself. More to come after little. Sorry, let me reread that again. More to come after title win. And before I start off, yet yeah, um, could you help me by sharing this channel all over the world to your friends, family, um, should I say friends and relatives? Smash the likes um, button for me. Um, if you've got an opinion, um, an idea, or you've got your own thoughts or, or res response and, uh, or reaction to a game, leave it in the comment section below. And um, please help me by subscribing to my channel. That's myself and I only, DLG Repping, just like the 92 of you. And I say thank you so much um, for, invest yeah, for putting in your love and support yeah couldn't appreciate it anymore thank you so much all right other than that let's get started more to come after the title win according to Stephen Gerrard manager Stephen Gerrard says there is more to come after Rangers were crowned champions of Scotland for the first time in 10 years Gerrard's side who beat St Mirren 3-0 on Saturday have a 20 point lead with six Games remaining and have denied Celtic a 10th title win in a row. Wow, Rangers fans, I want your response, um, your reaction and your personal views on um, your successful title um, victory. And um, how is it, how is it um, sinking in? Leave it in the comment section below, please. I'd love to hear from you, Rangers fans. Anyway, reading on, it is the former Liverpool and England captain's first trophy as a manager in his, in his third season at Ibrox. It is very difficult to put into words right now, the Rangers boss said. Well, he sounded, um, <laughs> it sounded emotional, um, according to what he has been saying. And um, yeah, he's obviously delighted and beyond. And he wants to carry on as strong as he can and make sure they're drilled because um next season Celtic are coming back for that title mark my words they won't allow Rangers to rest they are going to do whatever it takes to make sure that title is theirs again but then again Celtic fans um I'm open to all football comments so yeah leave your own views and your opinion in my comment section below Rangers Happy Rangers fans, I'll be expecting to hear from you in my comment section below. So let's move on to the next um, content. And this is, um, whoops. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. I can't get into this content, so I'm going to do another content here. Well, there we go. <coughs> according to, back to Rangers again, and according to what I've heard, Rangers accused of lack of leadership over crowds, um, according to Minister, uh, First Minister of Scotland. Um, whoever said, no, Scotland's Deputy 
First Minister has accused Rangers of a lack of um, control over their crowds. Well, Rangers have just won the um, Scottish title, Scottish Premier League title, and um, it's always going to happen. Liverpool won the league last season. Sorry. Liverpool won the English Premier League last season. That was going to be... That reality was always going to come into place when Liverpool fans will um, gather outside Anfield to um, give their support far and wide, far and uh, far as possible, or far and few in between possible. However possible, Liverpool fans. However possible, um, sorry, Liverpool fans wanted to make make it known that they've won the league. So you know. And Man City are on their way to winning the English Premier League for this year, this season. So you expect Man City fans to gather as close as possible to the Etihad under whether COVID restriction or no COVID restriction. Well, I'm going to read what um, has been said here. Rangers accused of lack of leadership over crowds. Well, Scotland's Deputy First Minister has accused Rangers of a lack of leadership after fans gathered in Glasgow for title celebrations. Large numbers of supporters floated COVID rules, uh, floated COVID rules to gather at Ibrox Stadium and George Square on Sunday after the club won the Scottish Premiership. John Sweeney said the scenes were absolutely were an absolute disgrace and undermined recent progress against the virus. Rangers said its fans had urged to follow the lockdown guidelines. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're going to get um, a huge minority of fucking idiots. And that is the God on his truth. How can they be fucking stopped? How can they be fucking stopped? The law has got a lot of work to identify those fucking idiots who refuse to follow the government um, guide. Well, the gov- well, the COVID guidelines. And that is to stay at home save the NHS and stay safe, well, there'll be some work for the police to do to identify those minority of idiots, those, well, as many minority of idiots who refuse to follow social distancing, who refuse to follow the government guidelines and help the NHS out. You know, it's bad enough NHS workers getting an increased, uh, a rage increase of £3.50 which is a complete fucking piss take, if you ask me. Now, you could be faced with more um, COVID situation with the range of supporters gathering near um, the stadium. So, it is what it is. Anyway, moving on. And let's um, move on to the um, transfer um, speculation talk, which is the, um, Monday's gossip column. And it's... Um, s- come from the mirror here and I don't know how true this is well according to Robbie Fowler um, he says it says here from what he has said Liverpool should cash in if Egypt forward Mohamed Salah is unhappy at the club says former Red striker Robbie Fowler mm, that's a interesting read we'll see what happens over the summer it is inevitable that it is inevitable the Reds will lose one of their front three of Salah, Senegal's Sadio Mane or Brazilian Roberto Firmino this summer, says former Republic of Ireland striker Tony Cascarino, who was um, talking on Talk Sport. Given his, um, or should I say, given his um, views on Talk Sport, Tony Cascarino is a regular. Um, talk sport um, worker and um, he's always got something interesting to say. Former Rangers chairman Dave King says there is no chance of manager Steven Gerrard leaving Ibrox to become Liverpool manager in the near future. Well, this is what if this is what he is saying, um, you could say watch your space or who knows. But I do know that... Um, he, he will be there until the end of next season and we'll just have to see if we can deliver another um, title success with Rangers and make sure they retain the title. Chelsea are planning to offer Danish defender Andreas Christensen a new contract, according to the, um, to the 
the telegraph. What's wrong with my words? <laughs> Blues English midfielder Luke McCormack is wanted by Championship side Millwall. Well, I'll tell you what, Millwall have always got an opportunity. We've always taken opportunity to um, bed in and loan young players and give them the vote of confidence. And um, you know, he as the individual himself, if he can perform well in the Millwall shirt. He'll be loved in the den. He'll be loved by the Millwall fans at the den. If he's not pulling his socks up, they'll let him know. I have been a Millwall steward for nearly twelve years. I know how the fans um, take to um, certain players. And one thing I will say is, Millwall supporters do not I mean, do not like a lazy player, and he will know about it if he becomes lazy. Shouldn't that shouldn't be the case? Anyway, Wolves, Southampton, Crystal Palace, West Ham and Aston Villa have scouted Burnley's English midfielder Josh Brownhill in recent months. Hmm. This is an interesting um, story from Team Talk. Liverpool might follow in the footsteps of Manchester United in attempts to become a publicly listed company, says football finance expert Kieran Maguire, football insider. Former Lazio midfielder Marek Hamsak is set to join IFK Gothenburg. The Slovak had been playing in China at Dalian Professional Expression in Expression in Sweden. Now I never knew he was thirty three. I thought he was a little bit younger than that. Thirty three. He's been around for long. I mean, if he was twenty three, I'd love him to be at Arsenal. He would be the ideal number ten player. You know, Marek Hamsak. That is a complete top, top class number 10 player. I've always highly rated him. Norwich City fullback Max Aaron says his focus is in England and he, and he currently has no interest in switching allegiance to Jamaica. Well, there you have it. If this is coming from Max Aaron's and he has stressed that he has no intention of switching allegiance to Jamaica, then... Well, let's um, respect what let's re let's respect what's come out of Max Aaron's mouth, and let's respect his wishes. If he wishes to play for England, and he wishes not to play for Jamaica, and he wishes to stay in this country, then we should respect his um, demands. A anyone who doesn't, well, they can go fuck themselves because I know there's going to be many out there who feel differently. He's he's requested not to play for Jamaica or leave the country. So if you can't respect his um, demands, again, go fuck yourselves. West Ham are set to push ahead with tying manager David Moyes down to a new long-term contract and made concern that other clubs are taking an interest. Again, team talk covering this um, <coughs> article here. Former Buffalo midfielder Javier Hernandez won his first league title as a coach after guiding Al Saad to the QMB Stars League Trophy in Qatar. Congratulations, um, Javier Hernandez, the former Buffalo midfielder. What a maestro he was. World-class um, Buffalo midfield maestro. Not once did I ever see him give the ball away, and I'm not over-exaggerating either. France coach Didier Deschamps says it would be wrong to question Barcelona forward Anton Griezmann's place in the national team. Well, according to what it, what's been written by Bell Sports via sorry Bell Sports via Sports in Spanish. I wonder what's going on in there. <clears> hmm. <throat> Only God knows. You know what? I am done for another video. Again, ladies to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls, I'd like to thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching as well as always putting up with me. I mean that from the bottom of my heart and you know I always mean that from the bottom of my heart. Um, I'll be back um, later on with another content. <clears throat> like I always say, please um, help me to smash the thumbs up like button in abundance smash the share button in abundance by sharing to your friends and family all over the world. Um, and it doesn't matter what race you are, culture, religion, etc. 
you're more than welcome to watch my channel. Uh, remember, this is the words from the Westernized guy. Um, leave, drop your views, your opinion, etc. in my comment section below. And do remember to please help me to subscribe to DLG Repping by smashing that subscribe button abundantly all over the place. I'll be back again. I'll say thank you. Peace again. Love again. Bless again. As always. Um, do remember to stay safe. Help the NHS out. And um, we'll pull through this um, COVID-19. And back to normality. Hopefully by the end of June. Other than that. I'll speak to you soon. And we'll always remember to just be nice.